that you know, they didn't make it too far and then all of a sudden you see them in top 16 and then in top eight. And it's, it's just like you see these teams just get better and better every week. So yeah. I'm looking forward to, to seeing these two teams and see what they have to offer. Yeah, I think that's the most exciting part or one of the most exciting parts about VSS is seeing teams come back and the improvements that they make, maybe the roster changes, uh, <coughs> the agents that they play that might switch up a little bit. And so it actually is really fun. You know, we have a lot of stats going on over these weeks, seeing the teams that do make improvements as the weeks go on. Oh, yeah. And Killjoy is disabled this week for everyone who's okay, joining us. Okay. So we, we won't get to see any of her. Um, you know, Riot kind of gave FaZe Clan the uh, the heads up that, you know, for, for professional integrity to not really have her going on this week. Yeah, Riot does that a lot in League of Legends as well. They, like, kind of freeze the patch for professional play. So this is pretty typical for Riot to do. Although I am a little sad because I, I think we were going to see a lot of her. Oh, yeah. She's I think she's <laughs> a solid agent. I think she's a little, little busted. But, I mean, you, you, <laughs> you have to play around her, you know? A little bit, yeah. Oh, Good a nice flank right here. Oh, just clean. Really nice flank right there from Versus. Just a little too tap. And it looks like this is a push onto the B site here. Let's see if they can make it out the hookah window. Oh, yeah, and he did. <laughs> well, I wonder whose wall that is. Is that, that the defense wall? Yeah, that was actually the defense wall, so I think that kind of saved him. Yeah, interesting. That actually kind of cuts out all the angles from hookah, which is really where you want to choke these players. Nini with a second headshot kill this round, making it a 2v2 extremely even right here. Oh my go. gosh, Nini with a 3k headshot. I think they know where the last player is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was spotted out by Nini. Oh, oh my gosh. That what was a, a clean open. <laughs> oh, what a round from Nini right there. You love to see pistol rounds like that. That's so satisfying. Oh yeah, especially especially with the ghosts. It feels like super secret agent with the silencer. <laughs> I know. Well, like that first kill, that guy never even knew. Pew. Yep. <laughs> it takes me back to the, uh, the 007 days. A little know, bit. <laughs> Only sad part is when the enemies buy armor and your headshot is just denied. No. That's that's <laughs> the only sad part about running the ghost sometimes is you hit those headshots and they live and you're just like, ugh. Mad. Why? Especially when you see the head go back. You're just like, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> We do have a judge on the side of uh, versus by Brain Dead Gamer. I've I've been loving the judge more and more actually. The more I play, it's such a solid set. Oh, that's, that's a really good gun. Oh. Wow. Leo Des here with the backup on Nini. What a perfect bait by Nini to just bring the entire team to peak that. And uh, Cipher there had the bulldog to just mow him down. Wow, really nice bait and switch there. Yeah, we're seeing some great play from the side of versus. Oh, nice little flank there. They did pick up a judge. Um, the site has kind of some long ranges. I'm not exactly sure what he's going to be able to do with it because I Shot don't think Versus is going to go into a hookah or uh, lamps when they know the judge is there. Exactly. This, it's all time, so it's playing at their pace. They have to peek out, and they, that's exactly what's right going to happen. So. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're just, just going to... They're kind of trapped. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of going to find a way to exterminate them maybe. Brimstone has a molly. HP, no way to heal himself. Day is kind of, uh, yeah, they're both just really trapped in here. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's the molly <laughs> there. Cleans one out. Got the arrow inside there. Yeah, really, really nice patient play from Versus to clean up that 2v4. I'm going to pick that judge right back up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you play the right angles with that weapon, it's pretty much the best weapon in the game, in my opinion. It's it's a one shot, whether it's the chest or the head. It's you're mm -hmm. close enough. You're you're down it. Multiple people too, because you get like seven shots. Yeah, you can literally <laughs> one tap a whole team with that gun, yep. like very fast. So yeah, you find the right situation with the judge, and you can do some mean work with that gun. So another nice round from Versus. This is round one's first buy round here. Oh, early trade gonna come in. Day. <laughs> Taking out both the flankers. Wow. So yeah. Top fraggers, too. So, I mean, you, that's a great start for round one. Yeah. Looks like they're going to full send on the A now. Triple, baby. 
Yeah, round one just has the control over the site now. That huge opening picks from Phoenix there. Sorry, bro. Oh, the judge. Phoenix versus <laughs> Phoenix. So the time is now against them. It is a 2v4, so this is going to be very difficult for Versus. It's going to have to find the right angles, but when all you have is the judge. You can you build to pick that weapon up. Yeah, that was really nice right there. Ooh, a Cypher with some great movement to not be seen and back out of that situation. Ooh. Wow, both Heck Phoenixes. Radiation. They probably should have peaked at the same time on dead, you know, on, yeah. on brain dead aimer. Oh, he went to go pick up a better gun. Shin was able to find him out though. Yeah, but you know, very well played from round one. They opened that up, you know, really well on two of the, the better players on versus uh, to pick up Nini and, and Leo just right off the rip. They just gave them the Can leeway to do whatever they wanted on A. Yeah, Nino and er, Nini and Leo, sorry, <laughs> they uh, basically won the first two rounds by themselves there with their flanks that they were pulling off. So Day with a nice like call out I'll saying go, they're going to do it again and I'm gonna be ready for it. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what they choose to do this round. It looks like they're gonna play on site this time. Now that they know round one is aware of their hijinks over on A, gonna play a little bit different now. Jumping around a lot, they definitely are making their presence known. They're not afraid to let round one know that they are there. Absolutely, especially with somebody like Cypher. You got so many tripwires, cages, anything like that. Cage triggered. Not afraid to move around because they should be afraid to walk into things. Yeah, exactly. And very slow, methodical movements from round one. They're not bursting through this time, getting lots of intel, mm -hmm. hoping that Versus blows their utility. Yeah, it looks like they baited out a little bit of Cypher utility, but other than that, not much. There is only a two stack on B, so if they do have a good five man execute here on B, should work out pretty good for them. Unless Sage or Brimstone here can pull off some crazy plays. Joke's over! You're dead! Here comes the entry from the Phoenix. A nice slow, gonna slow him down entirely. He's gotta watch his head though from the hookah, yeah. Joke's over! You're dead! Really nice execute so far from round one. A huge flash coming from Versus' side. And he makes it on site. Trades one out. Open up the sky. Rignatize here, gonna try and stop the bomb plan. Looks like he is able to out of where is stop it for a second. Brain Dead Aimer with the anger. Xenox with the 4K here. Oh, so many trades back and forth there. Yeah, I mean, Versus did everything that you know they could. They rotated immediately. They used orbital strike. They, yeah. you know, used the run it back. They popped all the alts, and they weren't willing, you know, to let this site go. Uh, and round one, just they they played it so slow, and they didn't make a sound until they were ready to burst on, which was perfect because it was just so unexpected. Yeah, I think uh, nice concealing your location like through audio is definitely one of the biggest factors on offense, especially in this game. Yeah, there was no so move through. Good to them. <laughs> Nini and Leo back to their hijinks at A, trying to catch someone slacking, but they, watching that same angle again, says not today. Mm -mm. You even see the Sova watching anyone coming out of showers. So Versus here now on a pistol round due to losing two rounds back to back. Another slow round from round one, just playing it cool making sure that they can get onto a site. Every round counts. Yeah, I like it when, you know, the team knows they have a huge gun advantage, but they still decide to play it slow, play it smart, check their angles. Definitely don't want to feed any weapons to the enemy, you know, because if you go on a lurk or a flank and you get taken out, then you put a vandal in the enemy hands, and that changes up things entirely, so. Oh, yeah, and y you don't want to give them a thrifty. That just right like here. <laughs> gives them such a good morale boost. Yeah, that hurts, especially when the thrifty team lives and picks up all those weapons. Oh, yeah. So another huge execute here coming out from round one. Day leading the charge with this flash. Oh, my gosh, another headshot from Nini, and Leo picks up a headshot of himself right there. Oh, 
good dancing around from Jay to avoid that. Yeah, he does have the spike here. Does he have enough time to go all the way to B? He's going to be met by the enemy. It's going to be so close here. He just has to full send the plant. Yeah, it's over. Wow. He, I, I mean, probably. Uh, they didn't have enough utility to really cover him to plant over at A. Yep. So, I mean, that's what made it hard. But good on uh, Brandon Aimer to shift immediately and be there to meet yeah. him, to not let him plant that. That was actually a really nice rotation, really like nice movement. he was movement. already on the way. <laughs> uh-huh. It's like, I know what you're doing because I'm you. We're yeah. both at the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they're the same, just on different teams. <laughs> It's funny seeing uh, Phoenix is on Bind, too, because they can run it back through the teleporters and yeah. stuff. So there's some really cool uh, things they can do on this map specifically. Yeah, which is fantastic to keep your body safe. Yeah. You never want to go back and then just get popped. <laughs> yeah, or get knifed even worse. <laughs> so, yeah, the teleport is really good for doing some crazy run it back plays. Um, Nini and Leo last round, they held down A again as a duo. Uh, that time with sheriffs, so you round one has to be aware of them and uh, know that they can definitely hit their shots. Yeah, I mean that was a save round for versus, and they they took it. Yep. I think like three of them lived too, so they were able to pick up some nice rifles. So I think versus economy is in a pretty solid state now after winning and having some survivors. Here's round one with their silent strategy again. Gonna explode on B. Sage wall is ready to block off. Yeah, she's been like blocking off around that capsule area there. Looks like she has another one lined up. Yeah, there it is. It's like the same wall, just on the different side. It kind of funnels them into a location. Are I'm not sure if they can plant the bomb with that ice block is. Kind of wall bang through. Wow. Trade's coming out everywhere. Trisoft able to pick up two from inside the capsule on B site. It's a 2v2 again. Cypher B. Sova here. Nini picking up a Hunter's Fury kill. I really, really spike. love to see that ability pick up some kills. In a tough situation here. Can't be trying to go for the frags. Unfortunately, missing the shots. That I feel like that round was very winnable for him like in multiple ways. Um, Unfortunately, he missed like three shots there. Yeah, I mean, if he would have gone for the spike, he would have made it by hindsight 2020. We can see what he can't. But also, opting, you know, opting to have this the op here. in your yes. hand instead this of picking up that, you know, that vandal that was on the ground mm -hmm. in a 2v1 situation is, is also kind of iffy, especially in close quarters like that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, this is a nice spot. Rifle is definitely like super effective That's in that situation. Yes. <coughs> yeah, you miss, you miss one of your op shots and you're just kind of doomed, as we saw. Yeah. Yeah, when you Nini here, Nini and Leo are just wow, this unstoppable. Duo. Yeah, this duo is insane. They play off of each other incredibly well. He popped the hat. I don't know if that was the best use. I don't know if he There's really expected. Left. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if he expected like all four to actually be there. Finds him out here. Yeah, and Leo and Nini just TV5 the round there over at Showers. Yeah, they, you know, <laughs> I have this saying when I play with my friends, you know, I, I baited with my body, you know, I did put myself out there. And this is how they are playing off of each other, and it's working out so well. Yeah. They definitely seem like really comfortable, kind of like that they've been doing it for a long time. They seem like they kind of know what each other are doing without having to, you know, maybe communicate or like actually say it out loud. So <laughs> really nice duo play from them over here on A. It uh, frees up their team to like triple stack B. This goes here. So um, that goes there. round one says, we know you only play two here. We don't care if it's Cypher. We really want to take this site. Uh, taking out Nini and Leo is huge to the success of these rounds, I think. Day with a nice headshot. He's doing a really good job entry fragging for his team on his character right now. Oh, that's and finds one in the smoke. Those are the two players that they needed. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And that's that's what a Phoenix is good for. If you're if you are not entry fragging for your team as a Phoenix, do not play Phoenix. You Honestly. have to have that that mentality. You are the open fragger. He, his kit is made for it. Literally. 
Yeah, so really, really nice play from Day. You know, especially on offense, <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one thing if you play, like, defensively as a Phoenix while you're on defense, but that's just almost entirely unacceptable when in an offensive position. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see so many Phoenix Phoenixes using their ultimate until it's, like, a situation where, like, oh, I got to go and be the hero. No, you, you need to go out and open things up. Yeah. <laughs> Not trying clutch rounds, but, like... Open it up for your team to exactly. win. Exactly. <laughs> But good on round one, attackers taking a point, making it five to three. Yeah, in the beginning, it <laughs> they were lined up for A. They know uh, Silva and Cypher over there are holding down so strongly. So they uh, kind of came up with the strat a little bit, got the huge pick. Well, the pick was everything. I don't know if there was so much strategy involved with Day just hitting a headshot. <laughs> well, once you take out Sova or Cypher on A, they know there's only one left on that site. So yeah. it kind of just uh, is natural for them to go all in. Yeah, and I, I feel like Nini with the with the operator was moving around a little too much for having an op in the hands. Uh, you know, when you peek left, peek right, you typically want to hold that corner because they have to come in your line of sight. When you peek out and stuff like that, you're, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Yeah. Or you have to be extremely like talented or confident that you are going to hit those shots. Yes. <laughs> so it's kind of like two sides of the same coin. <coughs> here we go. Trisoft holding this angle here. See some util coming out. Nowhere to run! Hunter's Fury. I'm going to open up the site. Yeah, trying to figure out some angles there. Oh my gosh, Trisoft with just the tiniest of dodges. Location not revealed. They decide to push, push through long B. Trisoft has that operator waiting for them. And uh, there we go. The silent, <laughs> the silent sneak move. back. Yeah, <laughs> from round one. They baited out quite a bit of utility from Versus. Yeah, and that was just the Sova left over at A site, too. Yeah, they have the Cypher camera watching A short there. Sova watching showers. This take's going to be huge again. Day, again, leading his team, opening up with flashes through the smokes. No run it back this time, but not enough defense to stop this plant. Now in a whole 5v5 retake situation. Well, the run it back one pop to see if you can get any picks with this. Yeah, Brain Dead trying to make it in there. Is able to get one. Cozy Boy shoots Cypher in the back, though. Somehow in lamps. Now in a 4v4. Day with a really nice headshot crosshair placement. Brain Dead Aimer says, I do too. Now in a 3v3. Ops from short. Oh my gosh, trading back literally every single kill. Oh, no. oh Nini missing these shots with the operator right now. Yeah. Picks he, up one. He needed that shot on Cypher to count. Oh my gosh, that round literally could not have been closer. We are within one point of each other now when Versus had such a great run. And round one is just kind of playing their game though. They're playing it so slow and, and so methodically that Versus is kind of, you know, sending maybe one too many extra people over. And it's just really working out for round one. I mean, this Phoenix is, it, Day is doing absolutely phenomenal on this character. I mean, he's nine and nine, so mm -hmm. it shows like, you know, he's even, but as a Phoenix, you go in, that's what you do. No. Yeah, you he's open it up. getting these round wins for his team, definitely. Opening up the site, allowing the bomb to be planted. You know. <clears throat> this. Yeah, it's now become an operator battle now that we're nine deep. Nine rounds deep into the half. You will not kill my ally. Ooh, Ooh. trying to spray it down. Not enough spray. Can't be. Uh, is able to just jump out of hookah. There was no one watching hookah. <gasps> they brought everyone over to be long. And um, Campy just says, "Okay, free entrance to side. I'll take, take it." Yeah, I'll take that death jump if no one's watching. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a phenomenal flank from Campy. That just. Yeah, that was pretty much everything there. Versus, they, they play really like close to each other. We see Nini and Leo over on A site, kind of playing like close in proximity to each each other. And then right there um, on B site, we saw all three members literally stacked in those B gardens. No one watching Hookah, you know, it costed them heavily that round.
I had, which is kind of weird. I don't know if they were just kind of switching things up, but when you send three people down long, you take the risk of peaking an operator. You you take the risk of also collateral damage. Yeah, they put the wall up there to get the resurrect, I think. Yeah. And then um. But Campy was just. I mean, no one no one was watching the flank. Yeah, they definitely. Uh, I think uh, Right Eyes. <coughs> sorry, I said his name wrong earlier. I think he could have stayed back. And let Sage and Phoenix, you know, try and get the resurrect off as themselves, and he could have held down that hookah angle there. But um, yeah, leaving that completely open cost them the round, and now it's five five here in the first half. Yeah, we do have a pause here, but we only have two classics on the side of versus. Their economy is hurting. I like that glitch pop knife. It is really nice. I just didn't like the gun selection, you know, for those skins that, yeah. You know, that That's actually mostly what I base my skin purchases on, is the gun <laughs> that yeah. it's for, rather than actually how cool the skin is. Yeah, do I use it? Am I gonna see it in game? Yeah, if it's a Guardian skin, I don't care if it's the coolest <laughs> skin ever. It's I'm probably never gonna use it. Yeah. <laughs> Almost ever. Unless it's in a spike brush and yeah. they give it to me. I right? think I can <laughs> count on one hand still the amount of times I've bought a Guardian myself. So. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So round one, tying it up 5-5. Five, five. Let's see what they do. Looks like this. they switched, they switched up the, the characters per site now. We actually have yeah, Sage Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Splitting up the dynamic duo. Triple I, triple I destroyed. Ah. Ooh. Pick you will kill yeah, that was ally. really amazing. Cozy Boy with the immediate resurrect back though on day. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's like he knew, but he didn't. It's so crazy. <laughs> Spectating is so wild like that sometimes. Shen with a nice top shot on Trisoft. So this is 3v4. Yeah, still really doable. Brimstone is effectively one tap from any gun. It looks like he, yeah, he knows he's one tap and doesn't want to peek, so he's going to throw down some smokes, and it looks like he's lining up a Sky Molly all the way there in the background. Really nice ultimate there from Verse is going to clear out lamps. Brain dead Aimer here, shooting him through the smoke. I don't even think he saw him. Right Tides had to hit that snipe, but he did it. He oh. has the Sky Molly, though. It may have just clutched the round out. Yeah. Not exactly sure. Oh, oh my gosh, so it did. Point thirty two seconds. And that right there is the power of Brimstone. Can be dead and still <laughs> win the win. round for your team. Oh, man. That was so well played from Versus, too. No, Brain they Dead Aimer went off. Yeah, he had, you know, the gunplay there pushing forward onto site. And their uh, right ties there, he used his ultimate to clear out lamps really well. But, oh, man. Yeah, I just kind of feel bad for Versus on that round there because they, they were just so close to, to getting that. But yeah, here we are, last round of the half. Really well played from both teams. The adaption from round one has been awesome. Oh, absolutely. It's like the first two rounds were played so differently. It's like they mm -hmm. were just kind of like, all right, it's pistols. Like, yeah. you know, but I, I feel like a lot of teams do that. They're just like, it's pistols. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can. Ahead. You have a lot of freedom on pistol rounds to do, uh, take some peeks and do some movement that would be really safe, unsafe otherwise. Yeah. All right, so this time they're using some util to get some information on B site. Still left one person. Well, actually, no. There, there's two. He came back. He came back to the group. So it looks like this will be a full-on B push. Yeah, they're going with their silent strategy once again. They really like that a lot. Pull up as silent as possible. Get as close as possible. And then just explode on the side here. Day popping the run it back. Hunter's Fury also coming out. Both run it backs actually get popped for both teams. Brain Dead Aimer takes down Cypher, though. Day not able to pick up a kill except to trade out to run it back. Brain Dead Aimer here now with a nice angle on to sight. Finally able to hold off one of these explosive sight takes here. Ooh, Day going with a peek. I like that. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Ooh! With the nice double headshot. 
a flawless to end the first half. I mean, that was just explosive. Ra uh, Versus actually ended up sending their Sova over to B site and leaving the Cypher alone because he it just probably had a feeling like, all right, nothing's happened oh, at A yet. It has to be B. It has to be B. Yeah. <laughs> and it, there was there was no expense. It was spend every utility, every alt, and no one held anything back, and that's what I like to see. I don't yes. like to see someone dying in the last half of the round without, you know, burning through ultimates and you to do everything you can, you know, before going out. So yeah, it's super close. Yeah, it's awesome how these phoenixes are like meeting each other a lot, like in these fights and with Where their ultimates. <laughs> even they're they're meeting each other in their like alternate lives <laughs> and then coming back <laughs> and then trading <laughs> again. It's Eddie. it's so crazy how much these phoenixes are dueling it out. Now I get sad every time I see Coaster Buddy because I didn't get it. And here it is again, literally versing each other here. Flash for flash, pistol for pistol shot. These guys are going at it. Yeah, and there's still two members of Versus over at A site. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what kind of strategies uh, they do on offense. You know, we saw round one with a really nice adaptation against. Nini and Leo on A site. They uh, had a couple different strategies for taking B, for taking A. So taking six rounds on offense is really nice. We'll see if Versus is able to do the same. Here comes the Molly. Molly! Infamous. So Shin here knows the location of two players here on A. Yeah, but look at look at the full rotate from round one off of B site, which lets Spike move on to B. It was all a ploy. Yeah, <laughs> really, really nice bait. Shin is able to take out Leo, though, making it a 4v4 here. And he takes out the hookah. This is huge for retaking the site. Shin was such a huge position here. The whole team of versus, though, stacking up in elbow Taking these peaks together. That's three. Oh, four, nice four. Molly to cover the bomb defuse. And four. Oh my gosh, Shin is just absolutely going off with this ghost right now. Just barely goes down to Trisoft. Oh, and a huge <laughs> 1v1 time. situation here. Yeah. Really nice jump around. Use the heal, get back up to 100. And Xenox, though, was able to get the kill there on Trisoft. And he got the half defuse, so he does clutch up the round. Holy crap, Shin, though. Yeah, I mean, hitting those headshots, massive flank. Yep. I mean, that was that was beautifully played by him. He was, you know, he was at the bottom there for a little while, and you know, he's making his way way up to the middle. Yep. Um, but Brain Dead Aimer, 19-9, just really showing up for Versus. Mhm. Mm he's uh, he's fragging out right now. He's doing, he's in a lot of his shots. This goes here. Um, really confident in his Vandal play we saw in the first half. Just has really nice crosshair placement to hit those instant oh, headshots. Like, yes, this should do. Cage oh, three. Xenox Ooh, here smartly intel. backing up. Here's the whole team walk through his smoke. Oh, they're able to actually... They send one to teleport, but then keep the rest of the team here to peak A. Xenox here in a huge position. Able to take down two before it goes down. Buys enough time for his team to rotate. Shen picks up one kill and now 3v2 here for this retake. Perfect molly positioning, pushing Nini out of the plant spot there. Kinda. <laughs> it's like half on it. Shen with a nice clean up there. All right. That was a, that was a clean play from round Gun one here. to hold that A site. Yeah, really nice job backing up on Cypher's end. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, and then when they came through elbow, he almost had actually two of them. He just couldn't swing around fast enough. Yeah, he needed more bullets in his clip. More day. bullets. <laughs> <He need> yeah. <laughs> All right, so six, eight. Round one looking really clean, um, but these these matches have just been so close back and forth. And if, mm -hmm. if you look at, like, the fragging on the side of versus. Yeah, you would almost think they're winning, right? Exactly, but. Yeah, it looks that way. There's been so many cases where people have been left this alive on both sides mm -hmm. at the end of a round. Yeah, we've had a few of those. We've had some brimstone clutches while he was dead. Absolutely. So. But I love how close these, these teams are playing. Like, just how evenly matched they are. 
Yeah, this is a really, really great first match. Xenox here, looks like he got traded there in mid. He's gonna retreat back to his spawn to get a heal from Sage. That's always nice when you can get that Sage heal to be like 80 plus, 90 plus. It feels really good to get that value, <laughs> both as the yeah. player who needs the heal and when you use it as Sage. So vers versus here with kind of a similar offensive strategy to what round one had where they play pretty slow here. Yeah, it's super uh, a little silent. bit silent, yeah. No sporadic round. Ooh. Ooh. Shen came out very aggressively there. Yeah, I liked it because he, he had the tracking dart in him. Yeah. Joke's over! Oh, he's You're dead! All right, pop and run it back. Oh my gosh, they know Sova's there. They're able to get some nice wall bank damage. Kind of caught with his bow out. I hate, hate when that happens. Yeah, it's, it's the worst. It's one of the biggest, uh, like, things you have to learn in Valorant is when should I use my abilities and when should I have my gun out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's got to be so hard for Overwatch players who come, you know, from Overwatch to Valorant because you infinite always have spam. all your abilities out. Yeah, infinite yeah. spam is very different from one-time usage. Great. <laughs> yeah, it plays totally, totally different that way. All right, so versus planting, and they're up five to three. Yeah, I don't want they have tough. some positions here in elbow around the site to maybe try and retake, but bombs ticking down, no one's dead. Yeah, day goes down. Oh, Cozy Boy with some nice Spectre shots. Xenox even to able to get a kill of his own. Wow, yeah, taking it down to two to two before the bomb goes off. Oh, oh unfortunate, but I mean they lost one each, so. Yeah, so <laughs> actually going for some exit frags there. That was that was really well played. Yeah, you can't feel too bad about that, but we are within one now, seven, eight. These teams are just going back and forth, but now we got some operators on the side of round one, so we'll see how that looks on the side of uh, defense for them. Yeah, both these teams on defense are like walking a really tough line on, you know, being aggressive on the site and trying to we hold go. the enemy team from coming onto site and the offensive team just exploding and making it impossible for them to like back up or, or like play that co close because they're getting put into like 5v2, oh. 3v1 situations there. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen like an instance where a split happens and they try to win their own battles. It's It's been very explosive every time they've gone onto the site. Yeah, they're pretty much sending all five to the site they want to take every round. Um. Smokes down versus got the spike down and now it's up to round one to, I mean, essentially make the time work for them because time is against them right now. Yeah, C versus, there's there's three of them stacked up in lamps over there. They fires out. Xenox with the double. All that sage is diffusing. Oh, and there was nothing that they could do. I mean. Yeah, the brimstone went to set up his sky mall and he got it down, but it just took a little bit too long there. It As down. it was diffusing, <laughs> it was still bouncing off the ground. Yeah, I mean, they had great coverage. They cut off the vision, but Xenox with the with the 2K, I mean, when you stack up like that, unfortunately, it doesn't always go in your favor if you don't spread out. Yeah, you need to cover your angles, mm -hmm. so. I mean, especially against a brimstone, anybody with a molly, an orbital that could come down on your head, you, you never want to put yourself in that position. Yeah, that's another good point. So nice the retake there from round one. Versus never cleared out showers, so Shen was able there to chill with his operator and hold down all those angles. They're holding down the A short from heaven. Gosh, that sounds so scary from the heaven position, just raining down operator shots. They got some massive tags here on versus. Xenox able to get traded out. Yeah, and this was a save round for Versus, so coming in and getting two kills with some classics, I mean. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, pretty much unwinnable situation here for Nini. Yeah, left on like six HP. <laughs> but round one will go up three rounds now, and I think that's the largest gap we've had. I believe it is. Yep. So round one pulling away a little bit here. Versus is doing a pretty good job here, making it onto site. Yeah, but they, round mean, one's doing a better job retaking. Yeah, they're they're getting the plants off, so they, you know they're still getting those extra credits for that. 
Um, and they should be able to do a solid buy this round. Yeah. Yeah, full buy here. Yeah, but if they don't win this one, it's going to get real scary for them. Yeah. And round one will probably end up taking the win. Yeah, <laughs> being on, like, almost match point on a pistol is very, very rough. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it hurts the soul a little. Given that Shut ult down. point to the Phoenix so he can just pop a run it back for his team, I like that. You know, typically you're just like, oh no, give it to the Sage, give it to the Rez, and they're just like, no, give it give it to the guy who's gonna clean house and give us the advantage. Yeah, I like that his only cost six, so you can pop that, you know, just that many more times in a round, or oh I mean yeah. like in a half. So yeah, you give him some orbs and he's <laughs> gonna be running it back all the time. Yeah, and I, I think it's just him and Jet that are at six. It, Orbital Strike used to be at six, and that was kind of nutty, but now he's at seven. Mm -hmm. Nice. No run, who run. Oh, wow, really far toss there on that Cypher smoke. Actually using that like as a traditional smoke, I like that. You know, he didn't get sprayed out throwing it down, but he's able to get those smokes real deep on the Psyche, cover off some angles. Yeah, and we still had this is still a 5v5. No one's gone down yet. Spike oh. is down. Yeah, round one on defense is playing like just as patient as versus is on offense. Oh, Xenox with a I huge know. win. And brother. Hookah again. So now versus here has to be careful of the hookah angle at all times. They're getting surrounded here. Yeah, they're just stuck in the capsule, and that, that's every player. Round one is doing such a good job surrounding the sites they're retaking. Yeah, they're saying, we'll let you get that spike down, but we're going to we're gonna take our time. We're not going to freak out that spike is down. Mm -hmm. they're, I, I love that patience and that confidence. Like, okay, spike is down. Let's put our plan in motion. Yeah. And, you know, you see so many teams kind of freak out and go in for the trades, and, and they just think that they have to like no time, but in reality, you've got like another 30 seconds to work with that you just get your team there, wait for that flank and be patient. Yeah, Xenox with that huge flank win, you know, he teleported through Teleporter. Uh, <coughs> right Ties knew he was there, but Xenox just able to get the better of him. Top fragging for his team. Doing a really, really amazing job on Cypher. Joke's over, you're dead. Right here. Pop and run it back. Oh, going, going through the through. teleporter. <laughs> Everybody's scattering like ants. Yeah. All we have are sheriffs. Leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> he got a little bit of information there. Well, that's all the information you need now to hear the whole team spraying down the sage wall at B. That was a nice wall from Cozy Boy. You know, Day Day was like herding the sheep towards B long, and Cozy was like, I'll cut them off. I'll cut them off. Waiting out the wall, though, making it onto site. But Campy and Cozy Boy say it doesn't matter. You know, we'll let you on to site this time, but we're not going to let you stand. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Round one just full of confidence right now. Yeah, taking these solo right. peaks. Oh! That was a nice clap. <laughs> oh, I love that. Sheriff headshots are so satisfying. It's but like old Western, you know? Pew! Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Had to bring a little bit of McCree into the game. Uh, oh, yeah. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> I mean, the, just the, the, the massive drawback on the gun, too, just, just makes it that much more powerful. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely does. I can't even control it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are sitting at match point for round one. They've done such a phenomenal job with their retakes, and that's, that's really what's given them the edge over versus is their ability to retake. Yeah, if we, lo if we saw the, match hist or the round history there, round one out of their six wins this half, Five of them are defuses. Yeah. They're letting the bomb go down, and then they're just defusing it. Absolutely. It's, you know, they stay back, they stay safe until the rest of the team gets there. Shen with a 3K. Really? Oh, with a 4K. Oh, got confident there. Wanted to peek the bomb. Maybe not totally aware that Sage used her res there, so there were six players for versus this round. Ooh. Tries off with some nice head taps the last two rounds. Definitely need them here on match point situation. Day yeah. closing in though from short. Yeah. This is what they're so good at, surrounding the site. Oh, Rain Dead Aimer though, winning a huge trade. So is Trisoft. And now they're up. Oh my gosh, can't be with the Hunter's Fury kill. Not very much time here left on the bomb. Versus just 
running all the way around. Yeah, he is. <laughs> not peeking at all. Can't be not going for the defuse, though. Um, <laughs> wow. So that was, I, I'm sorry, can't be in Trisoft. Just they did it. W went nuts. <laughs> I mean, they, yeah, they, they hit the <laughs> shots they needed to. <laughs> I mean, I, I I thought you know with that 3K, you know round one was just gonna okay I'm 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 doing my thing I'm I'm coming out here we're we're gonna take this back and um but the the spike wasn't down yet maybe maybe that's what threw him off. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> he he went out before it went down. Yeah. But I mean versus uh, live to fight another day in, with the full full buyout. Yeah, this is still totally, totally doable. Oh, Shin and Campy both with operators though. They really, really want to win out here. Oh, a nice flash angle. Just gonna wall that off and not mess with any hijinks there. Decent amount of utility being used around B site here. Nice, and Versus knows. They baited out a lot of utility. Let's regroup here. And see if they go towards A or if they fake back towards B. They still have a minute left in this round. More than enough time. And yeah, here it is, the fake back towards B. Fortunately, round one has not bitten at all. And, and they are steadfast, right here. stacking B still. We'll see what utility they have left. Oh, Campy with a nice hookah angle. That's really painful for Versus there. Now they know the op is on site. Revealing they have Eddie. to make sure to clear that out and smoke it off. Oh, oh really, God. really nice arrow there to reveal them. Oh my gosh. The death jump works. Yeah, right Ty is able to make it onto site with those nice smokes. Oh, knows the player's here. Oh, Turns his back at the worst time. Almost legs him. Cypher here, 10 seconds left, 1v2. I know exactly where you are. Has four seconds to pick up both of these kills. Picks up one. He's got a oh. run. Oh, that wow. was so close. Smartly playing time there. Round one wins their first group stage match in a really close but really really good first game of the day. Yeah, that was phenomenal. I you know, the past couple weeks we've had some duds on stream, you know, some 13 threes. It here happens, and there. it, it happens. happens. But uh, this one was super close and I loved it all the way through the str different strategies that they had. Um every I feel like people just had their moments in yeah, almost every honestly. round and the Phoenixes, the Battle of the Phoenix honestly is 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 what this was and they did such a phenomenal job for their team so but congratulations to to round one for winning that first that yeah first I, game. I guess phoenix is stealing raises thunder on that map i guess um i think yeah there wasn't a raise holy crap yeah You're they were right. both phoenixes <laughs> and shen gonna be your match mvp 2015 and four yeah once he got that operator on defense he was doing work yep all right, and with that, brain dead aimer at the top of the charts, though. Yeah, I see that. Man, I wonder if that was correct then. I should that have been brain dead aimer at the. I, I think <laughs> it, I think it might have been. I think it might have been. <laughs> hmm, seems about right. This yeah, Phoenix but either way, I, th <laughs> I think there were like four or five players with like 17 or 18 plus kills there, so there was really yeah. like <laughs> a lot of MVPs, realistically speaking. No, absolutely. All right, and with that chat, we will be right back. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 